I'm happy to bring you two minutes in the Olive Garden. Today's text, Exodus chapter 3, verse 7. The Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I have heard them crying out because of their slave drivers, and I am concerned about their suffering. This is the NIV. The New Living Translation says, Then the Lord told him, I have certainly seen the oppression of my people in Egypt. I have heard their cries of distress because of their harsh slave drivers. Yes, I am aware of their suffering. I would want you to take note of what God took notice of. He noted the harsh treatment that the slave masters of the Israelites were passing them through. See how the NIV puts it. It says, Because of their slave drivers, I am concerned about their suffering. In other words, one of the main reasons why I am sending you to rescue my people is that I, the Lord, am not happy about the Egyptians and how they are treating my people. If God is happy with your oppressor, then you can be sure that your deliverance is very far away, perhaps one billion years away. But if God is not happy with your leader, with your boss, with someone who is treating you very badly, then your deliverance is near. Your upliftment is closer than you think. One thing that moves God to enforce his wrath against wicked people repeatedly is when they attack his people, his anointed ones. Look at the last sentence of the New Living Translation. It says, Yes, I am aware of their suffering. God was well aware, yet he kept quiet until he got a man like Moses ready. Just as God was preparing Moses so he could use him to deliver the Israelites, God is also waiting for you to avail yourself to be used to bless someone. Make yourself available for God's use. The shalom of Yahweh be upon you.